Hello there. I'm just filming an eastern rice grove here. Mm, looks like it's foraging on the ground. Oh yeah, there it is eating a nut, I think. Yeah, this is a type of rodent, by the way. And there are many different species of squirrels. And as you probably know, they, most of them live in trees. Like the eastern grey squirrel here. Mm, and as you can see, the eastern grey squirrel is, of course, grey. It does have some brownish on its body. Especially on the head and the tail and some white undermarks especially around its stomach Now the main diet of eastern grey squirrels as you probably know is nuts but they will also feed on seeds Grey squirrels will. Yeah, this one still seems to be foraging. Yeah, the eastern grey squirrel is one of the most common animals in the United Kingdom. Yeah, but they aren't actually native here, in case you didn't know that. And they're actually native to North America and since they were introduced here the eastern grey squirrel has displaced the native red squirrel because they are they're much bigger than red squirrels gr eastern grey squirrels are which means they can compete can compete for food And unlike red squirrels, eastern grey squirrels are very adaptable. Now their preferred habitat is woodlands, but they can also be found in parks and urban areas. As long as they have plenty of mature trees to live in. Because these squirrels prefer to live in mature trees, where they live and raise their young. And unlike most rodents, eastern grey squirrels do have a relatively long lifespan. And they can live for up to 12 years in the wild. It's very long for a small rodent. Right, I think I'll leave this guy to forage in peace now. Okay, thanks for joining me everyone, and I'll see you next time.